Hey guys, this crypto movie, she does it all, a little bit of everything from $105,000 crypto portfolio to right now, 13000 barely holding on on 14000 What would you do? How would you react and why it gets so low? And how did we get there? Of course, everyone knows 2021 was the best year for cryptocurrency. It doesn't matter what kind of coins you had for some reason it will look amazing it will look great it will pop up there was there were no shady coin at that point anything you had in your portfolio will go up so my question is would we ever see that moment again where any coin you have in your portfolio was skyrocketing we don't know i would hope yes because I mean, it was a dream, hope for us to make it in the cryptocurrency to retire early. And are we still going to be able to achieve that dream? You know, if you've been realistic, if you've been serious on what's going on. We haven't heard anything on Bitcoin ETF. The fight's still going on between SEC and Ripple. We need something excited, something that can have people interested again in cryptocurrency something that can save cryptocurrency because right now it's dying and i think bitcoin etf a win for ripple against sec can give us that kind of excitement so again let's go back to my portfolio from 105,000 to now 13,000. what would you do if you were in my shoes how can you hold your hope high no matter what happened okay i explained the story over and over i regretted it that i did not cash out at least fifty thousand dollar from the one hundred thousand dollar i made from you know shiba inu again i was thinking 2021 when the crypto market went crazy I believe 69000 for one big coin. Everything else you had in your portfolio was going amazing, fantastic. So when I saw $100,000 for Shiba Inu, my thing was, okay, Robin Hood was not listed Shiba at the point. So if Robin Hood were to list Shiba while it was going up, somehow we would have been able to delete two zeros and i'm sure we would have at that time i had one billion shiba you know that could have given me you know million dollar plus so i was greedy i was unexperienced and i wanted to retire from whatever i'm doing right now so i said why not wait and of course you guys already know the story from one hundred thousand dollar to after a few hours or days it became 70 80 000. as the week goes by it became 50 30 and now we end up at thirteen thousand dollar barely hanging on to fourteen thousand and my thing is what would you do in this situation because i am not going to sell you know i'm gonna hold on to what i have and if I had cash available, yes, I would add more to dollar cost average to DCA. But again, that's not easy to do because things are going up. You you don't have the fund to do it. So you do what you got to do to survive. So again, I made a big mistake that I don't want nobody else to repeat that mistake. But somehow one day, whether it's this year or next year, crypto is going to go back higher than ever so what can we all learn from those mistakes we made from not taking profit from not getting out of the game from not getting out of the party on time from being stuck in traffic light get profit do not get married to any coins do not say where well, i want millions i want thousands as long as you make your investment you see some profit get something out i used to be really not happy with people who's taking profit so early but i realized 
it is up to them to get profit because i'm sure right now they are laughing they are smiling because even though their investment might go down but at least they got something out i cannot say the same for myself i lost it all and more and we don't know what else is going to happen so in the future what can we do don't be greedy don't be blindfolded get some profit get profit you are not married to the coin you cannot hope for something that's not there remember you're not the only player in the game everybody's trying to get something so the earlier you get something out the better it will be for yourself in your pocket so what i have seen lately when the market was doing okay whenever the coin goes up people will be selling and i was asking myself why we cannot wait for it to delete a zero to get to the next level before we get money but what i realized you wait somebody else is gonna go ahead of you and do what you don't want to do get profit and that's what happened when shiba inu went up people like me that were saying oh let me wait let me see if i could get to millions end up losing it all while other people were taking profit take profit do not feel bad do not feel too connected to the coin that you feel like you're hurting somebody if you are taking profit it is best to take profit when you can because you're gonna end up just like me losing it all and asking yourself right now what could i have done with 50 grand right now or 60 80 grand i mean i would have been able to buy three four times of shiba you know if i were to you know get sixty eighty thousand dollar out of course you gotta pay tax but at least i would have something in my hand i would have been able to finish paying for my car at least put something down to buy a house there was so much i could have done with that money but i did not do what i was supposed to do and i end up losing it all what can we all learn do not get married get out of the traffic get out of the party early so you can be beneficial from what happened again it is hard to give you any kind of joyful hoping dreaming we can dream things can happen things can turn around but to tell you with excitement that oh yes the crypto market is doing fantastic it's a lie if you check you know it's not true so i am not gonna lie to you guys all our favorite coins are down we don't know when they're gonna go up not financial advice if you can add you add if not just hold on tight and hoping that things will get better how did i lose 105 thousand to get it to 13 barely making it to 14 it's simple you're jumping coins to coins you don't get profit you're hoping for a big win the crypto market crash People are taking profit while you're not. Those are things that we can learn from. Subscribe. Let me know how you feel. And if you know anybody that lost 50 to 100,000 or 500,000, I heard one guy lost $400,000. He did not take any profit and end up losing it all. So I'm not the only one. And I know there's a lot of people out there that lost a lot of money. But again, what can we do? We learn, we move on, and hoping for better. Subscribe. Let me know how you feel. Bye.